Item number, SCP-897, Object Class, Safe, Formerly Euclid, Special Containment Procedures, SCP-897 is allowed full access to all Level Zero regions of the facility. It may not engage in any activities that have the potential to be physically harmful in any way, directly or indirectly and is required to undergo a comprehensive medical exam daily. If SCP-897 is found to be at risk of any kind of organ failure, it is to be confined to a cell and provided with a D-Class personnel in order to restore itself. Description SCP-897 is an effectively immortal person, a variable height, weight, and build, and indeterminate age, race, and gender. It claims to be an Estonian man, on record as having died in a house fire in Raval, now Tallinn, in 19... aged 70. If this were true, it would make SCP-897 years old. When one or more of SCP-897's vital organs is compromised, usually as a result of trauma or disease-related injury, but sometimes as a result of age-related wear and tear, Said organ will spontaneously switch places with that of whichever human subject is in closest proximity to SCP-897, provided they are in good health, via teleportation. This saves SCP-897's life, but at the expense of the subject, to whom the process is fatal in percent of cases, and severely debilitating in the other percent. The process is entirely involuntary, and does not require SCP-897 to be conscious in order to work. MRI scans and medical tests indicate that the transplanted organs are seamlessly integrated into SCP-897's body, regardless of genetic disparity, and function as normal. SCP-897 has been found to contain DNA from at least different people, including Foundation personnel. It is estimated that no more than percent of its original body mass remains. Why its immune system, which itself has been replaced several times, does not reject foreign tissues, is not known. SCP-897 was discovered by the Foundation in the spring of 2000 when it was reported that three hikers in Denali National Park, Alaska, had died in the space of two weeks under similar, highly anomalous circumstances. The first hiker appeared to drown, despite being on land. The coroner's report confirmed that not only were her lungs filled with water, but they were unusually large in relation to her size and build, meaning they did not fit inside her rib cage, and as such, had ruptured and hemorrhaged. The second hiker, Data Expunged, the third hiker dropped dead when several of his bones, including his cervical vertebrae, appeared to spontaneously fracture. A mobile task force sent to scout the area found SCP-897, who had recently taken to living in the wilderness, and took it into custody with casualties. SCP-897 reported that he had fallen into a river, data expunged by a mother grizzly bear and fallen off a cliff at times coinciding with the deaths of the three hikers. Due to the stress of involuntarily causing multiple deaths, SCP-897 is highly mentally unstable and is neither willing nor able to cooperate with the Foundation. Its condition has gotten substantially worse since being taken into custody. SCP-897 will self-harm at any given opportunity. Foundation personnel have been killed or injured because of this. Whether SCP-897 self-harms out of frustration with its existence, or merely to spite the Foundation, is unknown. Addendum On October 2011, SCP-897 briefly escaped Foundation custody. When Dr. Rasmussen entered SCP-897's padded cell in order to attempt an interview, SCP-897 broke free of its straitjacket, and Data expunged its own face, causing its eyes, nose, much of its skin, most of its teeth, and its lower jaw to be exchanged with Dr. Rasmussen's. 
Dr. Rasmussen is believed to have expired almost immediately. SCP-897 was then able to pass himself off as Dr. Rasmussen, allowing him to leave the facility. When Dr. Rasmussen's body was discovered, Agent M was sent to recover SCP-897. 19 hours later, SCP-897 returned of its own accord, now possessing the memories and personality of Agent M. It transpired that, upon tracking SCP-897 to the nearby town of Agent M attempted to restrain it and accidentally shot it in the head, initiating a spontaneous brain transplant. Agent M's body quickly expired due to massive brain damage. The mind of the original SCP-897 was lost in the process. The fact that SCP-897's body has now been entirely replaced, meaning the original person technically no longer exists, has led some researchers to theorize that SCP-897 is not a person, but a localized abstract anomalous effect. Because Agent M is mentally stable and willing to cooperate with the Foundation, SCP-897 has been downgraded to safe. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-896, online role-playing game, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.